And you this evening, a press conference at the Winterville Town Hall for Pastor Darren Carmen, who was wrongfully convicted of a crime almost 30 years ago. Nine on your side's Davis Supis was at the press conference. He's joining us now in studio. So, Davis, what was the focus of this press conference? That's right, Angie. At this press conference tonight, there were a couple groups that wanted to speak at the town hall meeting, but the town of Winterville not allowing the groups to speak, saying their issue was a legal matter. Meanwhile, People Against Racism and the Pastoral Alliance say not being able to share their message perfectly illustrates the fight that they are going through. The same way that Pastor Carmen was not allowed to speak or be heard in 93, here we are again in 2024, um, not allowed to speak or be heard. People Against Racism and the Pastors Alliance wanting to spread the message of Carmen's wrongful conviction and urging the town to take accountability to help him receive a pardon. The pastor's son, Darius Carmen, helping lead the demonstration. We want to make noise that a pardon and exoneration should go hand in hand. And we're here in support of my father, Pastor Darren Carmen, as he holds the town of Winterville uh, accountable for, you know, what happened to him. So that's why we're here. When asked why the groups were unable to speak, the town said it was a litigation issue. We owe the letter uh, that was penned on behalf of Bishop Rosie O'Neill could not be read because of litigations. That's literally the only, that's all we got. Because of legalities, the letter could not be read. The groups upset that even at a public forum, their message could not be heard. This is a public forum. This is a forum where anyone in the community can come and voice their concerns. And as we got here to voice our concerns, we were told to be quiet. We were told that we could not say what needed to be said. We were told that we could not voice our support. As Carmen continues his personal fight for his pardon, the groups want to remind the community that this could happen to anyone. We want everyone to know that he is not alone and we are here to support him and we're going to continue to push. We're going to continue to show up. We're going to demonstrate just like we're doing now until change happens, not just for him, but for anyone that has experienced anything like this. The two groups, People Against Racism and Pastoral Alliances, both say they will continue this fight for Pastor Carmen because they say this situation could happen to anyone. In studio, Davis Supis, 9 on your side. All right, Davis, thank you.